What's up, YouTube? It's Yard Tell. I'm doing a talk store react to another video. We got the Pop Smoke Get Back Killer Brother found in a barrel. Mm 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 mm. Let's get into it, man. Pop Smoke's death was one of the most shocking losses the rap game has ever seen. But the story is far from over. The brother of one of the alleged killers was found washed up on shore inside a barrel, and the cops think yeah. it might be related to Pop's death. Is this the most brutal get back in rap history? Yes. Today we're breaking down exactly what's happening. A couple weeks ago, the body oh, no. of a dude named Javante. Oh no. Nah, when Yellow Beezy, they burned his parents up in the house. They put his parents in the house. His parents was in the house. They burned the house down and kill him. That's Murphy was found inside of a Not barrel Yellow that Beezy. washed up at Malibu Lagoon Brazy. State Beach. A park employee spotted the barrel floating in the water, and a lifeguard decided to open it up because the weight of it was suspicious. Javante's body was found inside, and Lieutenant Hugo Renaga from the LA County Sheriff's Homicide Department said that From what I did see, the, the foot, it, it, it didn't look... Um, it didn't look to me like it was decomposed or been there a long time. Finding a body stuffed inside a barrel is already crazy, crazy enough. But then news broke that Javante is actually the brother of Jaquan Murphy, who's one of the five dudes. Hey, bro, they could have buried it. They could have chopped it up. They put him in a barrel and sit him in the ocean. That's crazy. A book for killing Pop Smoke. Jaquan was never demons? actually charged for killing Pop and was eventually cleared in the case. But even if the cops don't think he was involved with Pop's death, that don't mean his name was cleared was in the streets. Pop was affiliated with the 823 Crips, GS9, and the Wu, but most people don't think his death was gang related. On February 19, 2020, Pop was at an Airbnb in the Hollywood Hills when four dudes broke in through the second story and killed him. A woman named Amelia Rose was staying with him, and one of the dudes put a gun to her head and told her, shut the fuck up, do you want to die? While the rest of them went into the bathroom where Pop was taking a shower. They told him to give up all of his jewelry, and at first Pop didn't cause any issues and was listening to them. But when he tried to fight back, one of the robbers pistol whipped and shot him. Pop ran out of the bathroom and fell to the ground, and that's when they started stomping him out. Somehow he managed to get up and run downstairs, but the shooter caught him two more times in the back and killed him. The robber snatched Pop's Rolex oh, off his up, wrist yeah. and ran out the door. After the cops caught up to him a few months later, one of the miners told his cellmate in Juvie that he was the one who shot Pop. The plan was allegedly just to rob him and not actually hurt him. And only got four fucking years. Tory just got 10. Tory Lane just got 10 years and the pop killer got four and, and did time serve. Anyone. But when Pop started fighting back, they shot him. Pop Smoke was one of the hottest new rappers in the game who helped put New York Drill on the map. But he was tragically killed over a watch that they only got 2K for on the street. The miner is 18 now and officially admitted to first degree murder and home invasion robbery. Even though he's an adult now, his name still hasn't been released since he was only 15 when he committed the crime. The miner yeah. pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and home invasion robbery. He was sentenced to four years and two months in juvie, and the judge refused to grant him time served for the two years and eight months oh. he's already been locked up for. After he admitted to the shooting, the judge in the case told him that Pop had lost his life over no good reason and said, you have no right to take- Bro, that gotta be scary, bro. Like, after you just see this happen, they gonna be looking for you. <laughs> they gonna be looking for you when you get out, boy. Somebody's life. That's crazy. You have no right to take somebody's property. The miner's lawyer tried to save him by arguing that he had a learning disability and wasn't fit for trial. But the judge didn't buy it, so he ended up pleading guilty instead of taking the chances in the courtroom. Even though Pop had ties to the streets and his killers are allegedly affiliated with the Hoovers, the cops still think his death was just a robbery that went wrong. The day before Pop was killed, his homie Mike D posted a gift that Amiri had sent to the Airbnb, and you can see the Airbnb's address in the post. After Pop died, nah, Pop rumors started flying that Mike leaked it on purpose and backdoored his own homie. Mike defended himself on social media and said that nobody could understand the pain he felt after Pop died, but fans ain't the only ones who think he was involved. In a bunch of deleted IG posts, Amelia Rose aired a mouth for acting sketchy the whole day before Pop was killed. She claimed that Mike was on the phone with someone that day acting nervous, and on IG she wrote, Who's the black women who did the setup? Who are the people involved in this murder? You know everything, I saw everything. A dude named Corey Walker is the only adult facing trial over Pop's death. After he was booked, the cops put an informant in his cell, and Walker allegedly told him that they were there to snatch Pop's Rolex and chain, and they used ski masks, gloves, and a police scanner to get away without being caught. If Mike D was really involved, it wouldn't make sense that they needed all of that to get away. The whole situation was sloppy, and Walker allegedly assaulted the 15-year-old after he found out that they shot Pop. 
Walker's attorney said that his murder charge should be dropped because Walker was sitting in the whip the whole time and he even told the rest of the crew not to shoot anyone. But he's still facing life in prison right now if he doesn't take Damn. a plea deal. Before the, the real shooters got the case, it seemed like the cops pretty much had it it's all crazy. figured out. But if Javante Murphy's death is related to what went down that night, there could be way more to the story. His brother Jaquan was cleared in Pop's death, but right now he's awaiting trial for a different murder in LA County. There's a Damn. good chance that Javante's death was from some other street situation, but right now a lot of people are calling to get back for Pop Smoke. There's no real evidence tying them together though, so for now it's just a rumor that the cops are investigating. Hey, and that's the end of the video. RP Pop, man. And it's still sad that, you know, so many lives was affected by this bad situation though. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yardy Tell, and I'm out.